everybody. So today I'm going to be reading a book called Chameleon Chameleon and this is written by Joy Cowley and the photographs are done by Nick Bishop. This is a non-fiction book and it's different than a fictional book. So those of you who don't know, non-fiction is a book that's based on real facts whereas a fictional book like yesterday's book is based on imagination. So even though people are real, but the characters and the setting and the plot are made up in fictional books. So today we're going to read nonfiction. So before we read, I want you to take a look at this creature. Okay, it's a chameleon. And look how beautiful it is. How beautiful those colors are. Okay, so we're going to learn a lot about chameleons today. The chameleon rests in his tree. His skin has peaceful colors. He wakes up hungry for a juicy insect. He looks this way and that way. No food, no food. He must find a new tree home. Slowly, the chameleon climbs down the tree, step by step. By step, he stops. Is something hiding there? A gecko! The gecko looks scary, but it will not hurt the chameleon. So this is a gecko. Step by step, the chameleon creeps to the ground. He looks this way and that way, watching for danger. What is this? It is a tiny chameleon. It is not dangerous. What is that? It is a tiny frog. The frog will not harm him either. So here's the, the tiny chameleon. Something hangs from a low branch. Suddenly it jumps. Another gecko. The gecko will not hurt the chameleon. The chameleon moves on. What's this? A scorpion. Watch out, chameleon. The scorpion stinger is poisonous. Carefully, the chameleon creeps past. At last, the chameleon finds a new tree. He is safe again. He climbs up slowly, step by step by step. Is there food in this tree? Yes! The chameleon sees a big caterpillar. So what do you think the chameleon is going to do? Okay, maybe jump and get the caterpillar. We'll see. <gasps> Zap! Choo, 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 gulp. Something is watching. Another chameleon lives in this tree. His, her, sorry, her skin is dark with angry colors. Go away. But the chameleon greets her with his bright colors. She sees that he is friendly. She welcomes him with pale colors.
So what did you learn so far about chameleons that see other chameleons? So what we maybe have learned is that they can change their colors based on how they're interacting with others. Because remember, this girl chameleon, or the female chameleon, at first she had dark, angry colors on her skin, telling him to go away. But then we see that he's not going to be mean to her. He's just being really friendly. So he greets her with really bright colors. And then she sees that he's friendly. So she welcomes him and says, okay, let's be friends. <laughs> and now she's not having those dark, angry colors on her skin anymore. It's pretty cool that they can do that. Two chameleon friends have happy colors. So we have some facts, which is very common in nonfiction books about the topic. So I'll read these with you. Did you know the two chameleons featured in this book are panther chameleons from the island of Madagascar, which is rich with strange and wonderful animals. There are geckos that look like moss growing on tree trunks and others that look like dead leaves on the forest floor. They are tiny poisonous frogs with bright colors to warn other animals not to eat them. Chameleons come in many sizes from as large as a big squirrel to a tiny mat matchstick. Male panther chameleons are about 15 inches long while females are about 8 inches long. Most chameleons live in trees where they hide among the leaves. They are always very cautious and move slowly, taking one careful step at a time. They have feet like little pinchers and long tails to hold tight to branches. Their eyes can look in different directions at once to check for danger or food. Wow. When a chameleon spots its favorite food, such as a fly, a grasshopper, or a caterpillar, it creeps close, then suddenly spits out its long tongue. Okay. A chameleon always likes to stay safe, and it usually avoids others of its kind. But sometimes it will climb down from his tree to look for one with more insects to eat or to look for a mate. On the ground, it is no longer well hidden, so it stays on the lookout for forest floor animals. Some, like snakes and scorpions, could be dangerous. Others, like geckos, are harmless. It might even meet a leaf chameleon, one of the smallest chameleons, which is less than three inches long and lives on the leaf litter. Chameleons are most well known for being able to change color. People once thought they did this to match their surroundings, but only a few types of chameleons clearly change color, and they do it depending on their mood. Mostly chameleons change color when they see each other. Males turn bright colors to impress females or scare off other males. Females have their own colors to tell males if they're friendly or would rather be left alone. Chameleons cannot hear sounds very well, so they use color as a way to talk to each other. So that was a lot of information about chameleons and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day. Bye.